eighteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Farzana Khan. First, the headlines. Spokesperson of Pakistan Army says situation on Park Afghan international border is normal and we have moved our regular troops to the border to cope with any situation. Pakistan has evacuated over 7,600 foreign and Pakistani nationals stranded in Afghanistan since Taliban takeover. Information Minister says peace in Afghanistan is imperative for connecting China-Pakistan economic corridor with the European Union. Taliban say they are planning an inclusive caretaker government in Afghanistan comprising leaders from all ethnicities and tribal backgrounds. The government has talked out a comprehensive plan to achieve an inclusive growth to take the country forward on the path of sustainable development. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, All Parties Hurriyat Conference has urged the UN Human Rights Council and other rights organizations to impress upon India to release all Kashmiri detainees immediately. And now the news in detail. The situation on Pakistan-Afghanistan international border is normal and under control, but Pakistan Army has taken maximum measures and moved regular troops to the border to cope with any situation. This was stated by Director General ISPR, Major General Babar Iftikhar, while addressing a news conference in Rawalpindi today on the unfolding situation in Afghanistan. The DG ISPR said there has been no major incident on the Pak-Afghan border so far. He said the notified crossings with Afghanistan have been kept open but these are not free for all and the people with documents are only being allowed entry in addition the trade is also continuing major general babar iftikhar said taliban leadership have conveyed that they will not let the afghan soil to be used against any other country he said pakistan believes that they will take measures so that the ttp may not be able to operate against pakistan or any other country dgispr said the ttp has no organized infrastructure in pakistan and that is why they are taking shelter in Afghanistan. He said India's role in Afghanistan has been extremely negative. Pakistan has evacuated more than 7,600 foreign and Pakistani nationals stranded in Afghanistan since the Taliban takeover through air and land routes. Pakistan International Airlines has so far evacuated 6,578 people from Kabul airport, including the personnel of important international institutions and organizations. With a total of 1,051 people evacuated via Torkham border, the number of Pakistani nationals evacuated so far stood at 987, including 104 by air. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain says Pakistan desires peace and stability in Afghanistan. He was talking to office bearers of Badin Press Club along with Minister for Interprovincial Coordination Dr. Fahmida Mirza in Islamabad today. The Information Minister said Pakistan wishes to connect China-Pakistan Economic Corridor with the European Union and it is only possible if there is peace in Afghanistan. He said by connecting the CPEC with the EU, economic activity Activity in the region will get boosted. The minister said Prime Minister Imran Khan had earlier suggested former Afghan President Ashraf Ghani to form an inclusive government. He said we will now suggest Taliban to form a coalition government. Taliban say they are planning an inclusive caretaker government in Afghanistan. According to Al Jazeera Television, the caretaker government will include leaders from all ethnicities and tribal backgrounds in the country. Nearly a dozen names are being considered to be part of the new government. Taliban said their Supreme Leadership Council has been convened to decide the form of the future government and nominate ministers. Meanwhile, Taliban say they are committed to the 2020 Doha Accord signed with the U.S. 
Taliban have termed the reports of more blasts in Kabul city as baseless and said only two explosions had taken place outside Hamid Karzai International Airport yesterday. In a statement, the Taliban spokesperson Zabihullah Mujahid said the law and order situation is under control and a number of Taliban security personnel around the airport has been increased. He said the American forces have conducted more blasts inside the airport to destroy their equipment. He further said that all possible treatment facilities to the injured of blasts are being provided. Zabihullah Mujahid said more than 25 Taliban personnel who were performing duties at the airport were among the dead. The U.S. President Joe Biden has promised to hunt down terrorists behind an attack at Kabul airport which killed at least 90 people, including 13 U.S. troops. In a statement, he warned that the U.S. would not forgive the perpetrators. Meanwhile, there are currently 5,800 U.S. troops on the ground at Kabul airport with a further 1,000 U.K. troops also there. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. The government has chalked out a comprehensive plan to achieve an inclusive growth to take the country forward on the path of sustainable development. This was stated by Finance Minister Shokat Tareen while addressing a news conference along with members of the Cabinet and Economic Advisory Council in Islamabad today. The Finance Minister said a mechanism has also been developed to ensure implementation of the plan to achieve the targets for different sectors. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan will regularly be briefed about the implementation of the plan and people will also be kept aware of it. Speaking on the occasion, Minister for National Food Security, Fakhar Imam, said new initiatives are being launched to strengthen the agriculture sector. He said the country has witnessed a significant increase in major crops. He said research institutes will be upgraded to achieve high agricultural productivity. Minister for Industries and Production Khusra Bakhtiar told the press conference that the government's policies have started yielding results. He said there has been 15% growth in the large-scale manufacturing. He said the government is giving tax incentives to small and medium enterprises and hurdles are being moved to provide them the credit. Khusra Bakhtiar said the government now plans indigenization of raw material in order to strengthen its industrial base. He said an industrial zone is being established on 1,500 acres of land in Karachi and export-oriented industries will be encouraged to make investments in it. President Dr. Arif Alvi says Pakistan attaches utmost significance to its relations with Saudi Arabia, which are based on common faith and mutual respect. He was talking to Saudi Ambassador in Pakistan, Nawaf bin Said al-Maliki, and President of the International Islamic University, Islamabad, Dr. Hatal Mahmood al Otaibi, who called on him in Islamabad today. The President said both brotherly countries have long-standing and deep-rooted fraternal relations, which need to be further strengthened for mutual benefit of the two countries. He emphasized the need for bilateral exchanges at high levels that would bring the two countries further closer. Dr. Hatal Hamoud al briefed the President about the new strategic plan of the university aiming to improve governance and quality of education. Eleven workers died and two members of a firefighting team injured when fire erupted in a chemical factory in Mehran town, Kurangi area of Karachi today. Cause of the fire eruption is yet to be ascertained. Rescue team said the dead bodies were found on the second floor of the factory. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Party's Hurriyat Conference has expressed serious concern over the plight of illegally detained Hurriyat leaders and activists languishing in different jails of the occupied territory and India. According to Kashmir Media Service, the APHC spokesman in a statement issued in Srinagar said that inhuman treatment meted out to the Kashmiri detainees and denial of basic facilities, including medical care and hygienic food to them, had endangered their lives. The spokesman urged the UN Human Rights Council and other human rights organizations to impress upon India to release all Kashmiri detainees without any further delay. And finally, the weather report. Hot and humid weather is expected elsewhere in the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain with wind and thunder showers is expected in Kashmir, Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Upper Punjab and Gilgit Baltistan. To end the news, the main points once again. Spokesperson of Pakistan Army says situation on Pak Afghan international border is normal and we have moved our regular troops to the border to cope with any situation. 
Pakistan has evacuated over 7,600 foreign and Pakistani nationals stranded in Afghanistan since Taliban takeover. Information Minister says peace in Afghanistan is imperative for connecting China-Pakistan economic corridor with the European Union. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.